Hello and welcome to another edition of Zog Science. Um, today we're going to be looking at ions and isotopes and sort of what are the defining characteristics of them and how can we calculate um, their different properties. So first we're going to look at isotopes and isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons and therefore different masses. All right. So isotopes are atoms of the same element, different numbers of neutrons, and because of that, they have the same. Or they're going to have different masses. So let's take a look at some examples. All right. So here we have hydrogen one, two, and three. All right. And what that one is referring to is the mass. So if we look here, we talked about before how to interpret the periodic table. Um, and so hydrogen, when it's written like this, this one is the mass. And this one right here, that's going to be the atomic number. So hydrogen one, that one right here, is referring to the mass. All right? Now if we recall back to what we've learned before, hydrogen uh, or atoms are made up of three basic elements. You've got protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now our protons and our neutrons both have a mass of one, and electrons have a mass of zero. So if we take a look here at our at our um, hydrogen atom, right? This hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron. So overall, it's going to have a neutral charge, and overall, it doesn't have any neutrons, and so its mass is going to be only one. If we take a look over here, hydrogen two, right? We've got one proton and one neutron, which if we add that together, one plus one is going to give us our mass of two. And then finally, over here, hydrogen three. Um, we've got one proton with two neutrons, and uh, that's going to give us our mass of three. Now, if we look at this, all right, what is defining hydrogen? Well, hydrogen is defined as having a single proton, and that's it. All right, so any hydrogen atom, all hydrogen atoms are going to have one proton. If we add another proton, then that's going to give us helium. So the defining characteristic of hydrogen and the defining characteristic of any uh, element is going to be how many protons it has. But isotopes can be different types of um, hydrogen atoms, and that's what's going to give us our, um, our different isotopes. Um, now, if you've ever looked at the periodic table, you'll notice that uh, for hydrogen, it does not just say 1. It says 1.008. And that 1.008 is because these different um, isotopes of hydrogen occur in different abundances, or there are different amounts of them in the world. And so what they do is that they calculate a weighted average of those, and that's how they come up with the 1.001. So most of the hydrogen in the world is protium, or hydrogen 1, um, but there are trace amounts of hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3. All right, so that's isotopes. Now let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to talk about ions. Ions are going to be elements. So ions are, I'm oh sorry, they're atoms of the same element, but with different electro, or numbers of electrons, and therefore different charges different charges. So ions are going to have the same, be the same element, okay, but they have different numbers of electrons. So let's look at an example, okay. Here we have a sodium, okay. Sodium has an uh, atomic number of 11, so in an uncharged state as a neutral atom, it has 11 protons, okay, and it has 11 electrons. And you'll recall back we talked about the fact that um, protons have a plus one charge, electrons have a minus one charge. So by having 11 protons and 11 electrons, we're going to overall, we're going to have a neutral atom. Now what we can see happening here is that one of these electrons is going to be leaving. So this electron is leaving and going away. So now we have 11 protons and we, having subtracted a neutron, we now have 10 electrons. Now, if you'll notice that this is an imbalance, so we've got a plus 11 and a minus 10. So what does that leave us with? A plus 1 charge. All right, so how, we, how do we write that, okay? So we've got our symbol, that's sodium. Our atomic number is still 11. 
We can't change the number of protons. If we change the number of protons, now we have a new element. Our mass number is 23. This is not a uh, this is not an isotope that stays the same. However, if we look over here, this is where our, we put our charge. So we put the charge on the top right, and what is sort of implied here is that this is a plus one. So when if you just see the plus or if you just see a minus, that's implying a plus one or a minus one. But that's where we put our charge. So we've got that plus one, and that plus one is coming from right here. So it's coming from the fact that we've got 11 protons and 10 electrons. All right, well, that's how that's the difference between isotopes and ions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.